Hello, and welcome to this Dan Studio update. This clip is going to be all about ghost lights and how we can get those in your scene. It's never been easier. So first things first, I have a black background and a Genesis 9 base figure in my scene. And I want to add some light coming from this uh, left-hand side or Genesis 9's right. So for that, what I'm going to do is going to go to Create, New Primitive. And let's just use a sphere that's uh, 0 0.5 meters in diameter. There's our sphere. Let's say we move this up and over to our right. This is going to be our final image. And if we select the sphere, go to our Surfaces tab, select the sphere. Let's change our emission color and let's make it a uh, pink. And we're going to change our luminance units to watts. And let's change our luminance to 50,000. Hmm. Let's change that to 500,000. There we go. We can see that better. Okay. So if this is going to be our scene and we want to have this harsh rim light, but we don't want to be showing this in our scene, here's what we can do. If you go to your content library, go to your product section, go to D, and under D you're going to find your default resources. Inside of your default resources, you want to find the one that says create advanced IRA node properties. If you select, have your sphere selected and run this script, it's going to bring up this dialog box. At which point you can now select IRA visible to primary rays and IRA ghost light factor. Turn those ones on and hit accept. Now that you've done that, with your sphere still selected, go to your parameters pane. And down here, you'll see IRA visible to primary rays. Select that and make that off. And just like that, we now have a ghost light inner scene lighting up our Genesis 9 figure. I hope this helps you, and I hope you enjoy creating some fantastic scenes with ghost lights in them.